<clears throat> What's up, you guys? Welcome to the live stream. <clears throat> hey, for some of y'all to join. Hey, Anthony. Actually, Anthony, I'm making you a mod, Anthony. What's up, you guys? So, I got this fidget spinner from Omar's son, Ethan. He broke it, so he said I could take it from him to destroy even more. As you guys know, these fidget spinners are a big thing right now. So, I'm going to burn it. You guys can't see the flame, really, because it's a blue flame. Uh... I don't know when I'll be able to go dumpster diving. I work a lot, so it's hard for me to go dumpster diving. I'm doing good, you guys. All right, you guys ready to watch me torch this fidget spinner? So here's the fidget spinner. Fire time. That middle bearing is just melting for some reason. I guess there's plastic on it. Ooh. These are all made with 680, uh, 608 um, RPS spinners, ball bearings, which is 608 revolutions per second they're just spinning bearings that's like all I've ever seen is 608 RPS spinners there might be faster there might be slower I'm not sure dang it's just burning now on its own they're this one's made out of plastic so I'm going to try to see if I can get those ball bearings to turn red. Um, the fidget spinners are a really big thing right now. This one's broken and doesn't work. All the pieces, all of it, the uh, bearing area is broke. Ethan dropped it and it broke, so he gave me it so I can burn. That thing's just burning though, real good. Here's a stick, watch. See what happens when I drop the stick there. It's just oozing plastic now. The plastic on the stick's even burning. Say it again. I want to get the ball bearings to turn red if I can, but I might have to pull the ball bearings out of the plastic to do that. I'm not sure. Uh, there's a saying with the fire department that I volunteer with that to be a firefighter you gotta be a pyro. You gotta like fire to be a firefighter. So, yeah. <laughs> I actually have a couple other videos I've recorded. I just have to finish editing them and uploading them where I take this torch I'm going to start a series using the torch to burn stuff and see what happens with the stuff that is burning. Obviously, a fidget spinner is plastic, so it's just going to melt the plastic away, heat up the ball bearings. I want to get all as much of the plastic to get away from the bearings, actually, so I can try to... So I can actually try to see if I can get the ball bearings to turn red hot. Ooh! The other side's not even damaged, it's just melted. All the plastic. Let's try to get all these bearings out of the plastic. 
and see if I can get the be all bearings to just turn red hot. We got this one loose, so I'll try to try with this one first. Hey, Samantha. You can see the plastic that's on the middle is burning, so that covers the balls. I'm going to try to flip it, try to just heat up the bearing, the balls and the bearing itself. See, that's the type of nothing. Thanks, Samantha. Uh, it's a broken fidget spinner, Jackie, so it's not like I'm doing any wasting anything. It's already been broken. Bearings look like they won't even heat up really. The fidget spinner's been RIP for a little bit of time already. It broke a couple month uh, weeks ago on Ethan. Omar's son, so he said I could use it to burn it. Because I've been telling them about this series I'm going to be starting where I just torch anything and everything I can. I'm doing good. Hey, everybody. If you guys didn't know, fidget spinners are like a real big thing right now. Which is another reason why I figured why not do it. You know, everybody's playing with them these days. I have one myself. I got Omar one. Because I found a Gimme Kiss, the Kiss Emoji one. So I figured I'd get that for Omar because I saw he couldn't find one. So I found one and got it for him. But I'm really upset that the fidget, the ball bearings aren't heating up. Like this is that as high as the heat on this can go. Yeah, the metal fidget spinners are better to me, too. I have a plastic one. Um, yeah, these are just a trending thing at the moment, so... Why not just see what happens if you burn them, you know? I haven't seen anybody else torch them or anything. I've seen... Um, What's inside, they just cut one up, but it's just plastic and ball bearings, so I mean, that wasn't too interesting of a video. I'm setting it on fire and trying to get it as hot as I can, just to see if I can get the metal pretty much to go red. Yes, Florida's schools have a, a ban on bringing them to school, because they're known as a distraction. So 
you can see this bearing is got nothing on it. It's all the plastic's gone really. I have a hose here that I'm gonna actually quickly turn on on top of these to show they are hot as can be. One of them got stuck to the hose. I didn't hear about that, but it doesn't surprise me that somebody would have ended up doing that. So these bearings are now pretty much molded to the uh, Drake. <laughs> this one's off. This one's free. These are the only two freed bearings. The fidget spinner was already broken. So, it's not like I really wasted a fidget spinner. Oh, I just got this one to break free. And you shouldn't be putting a fidget spinner in your mouth at all. The proper way to actually clean ball bearings is mineral oil, mineral oil or brake fluid. Because that's what brake fluid is, is mineral oil. Mineral oil, not mineral. But uh, you can see all the bearings in here are jacked up now. This one's... None of them will spin. The metal just molded to one another. Guys, there's no plastic in there. I'm going to try to retorch them some more. Welcome to the live stream. I don't know who said it. Um, comments don't stay up long. But welcome to the live stream, man. I'm going to try to get this one to spin because it seems like it might spin. Nah, it's pretty molded together as well. This one's still stuck to the brick. I should have brought one of my knives out here. Hey Megan. I'm almost out of fuel in here so I might actually have to grab butane. This takes butane, and I made a video on how to fill this up with butane, too. I'm sorry for your loss. That's what it all looks like. It's pretty done for. Ooh, that's still hot. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if you guys actually heard about what happened in Times Square like an hour and a half or two ago. But, um, they believe the guy was drunk or something. Driving through Times Square and he went, uh, straight into the sidewalk and... 
killed a bystander and injured a couple, uh, like 19 other people, unfortunately. Oh, hey, Jocelyn. I want to try to get this fidget, the uh, bearing in this one to just break apart. I'm actually... Uh, I'm going to grab a... Uh, I'm going to quickly go grab a knife out of my room. And butane. To add more butane to the... Uh, Torch. Yeah, um, I, I didn't hear any of the information on it yet, um, but I did hear about it happening, unfortunately, and this is the fidget spinner I got for Omar. It's got a little kiss emoji on it. And I'm very careful with knives, so I'm not worrying about hurting myself. Butane. And a couple of knives. Gotta, gotta always have knives. Knives are very useful for this stuff. Very bright out today. If you guys couldn't tell, Florida is hot and bright today. Not a ugly cloud in the sky today. <sighs> yeah, he was looking for a kiss emoji in this video. He could not find one, unfortunately. But I found that the day after he uploaded that video. So when I saw that, I told him, hey, man, here you go. That's how easy these are for full with butane. It's already done. From empty to full within a couple of seconds. And I've made these into galvanized steel knives using the torch. If you guys want to see that, I'll do that probably one day. Showing you guys how to galvanize steel a little bit. It's not that hard. So we're going to take... So we're going to heat this up again a little bit, but I'm going to switch cameras and show you heating it up. Just so everybody knows, if anybody's being a troll or saying anything rude or disrespectful, my moderators will remove it. Uh, no, these bearings are actually not cement, uh, uh, ceramic. If you look at them before I burnt them, you can tell they're metal ball bearings. They will turn red. It just takes a lot of heat because of the type of ball bearings they are. They're, uh, they're meant to go fast and not heat up easy. 
So it takes a lot of heat to get them red. But they will heat up and start to turn red and do that pretty much if there's a little bit of oil on them. probably use this knife to actually do it. It's a bit bigger. You can see that the bearing is moving around. The balls and everything are moving freely. So it's actually working, but I moved the balls around and broke away a required piece of them. Well, melted it away, not broke it away. So they don't sit like you'll see in this one right here. This one shouldn't be hot. Oh, it is hot, a little hot, so let's just do this. You can see the little tray maybe still in there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. You can see a little bit of the tray that holds the ball bearings in, in their spot. These balls are supposed to stay in a certain order in an exact spot so if you can get them all into one side of the bearing it should just break so that's what I'm trying to do right now is get them all in one side of the uh, bearing to see if I can get it to break free and become loose and These are all pretty hard. Yeah, you guys can start a conversation. Keep keep the comments going, y'all. Uh, I will read them. I'm trying to just break all these ball bearings pretty much right now. Because, I mean... Who's ever seen a ball bearing just break free like this, like I'm trying to get them to do? Because I know I can do it, but it's hot, so it's really hard to touch them and get it done right. And I only have one hand, so... So you guys can actually tell, you can see a little bit of rust right there on it. So the fidget spinners, this fidget spinner is made out of metal. Then you can see it's shining right here. That's how you can tell these are metal uh, bearings. And when I hit them with the knife, they make a tinking, a very faint tink noise. So they're metal, so... There goes one of the fidget spinners. <laughs> Bearings. You can see it actually rolls still pretty well. I didn't expect it to go flying like that. I'm actually trying to just get it to break free on its own by smashing it maybe. It's not too hot now. So... It just don't want to break free. 
But you can see it still spins a little bit. I don't know if y'all can hear it. But it's still spinning, surprisingly. Here, I'm going to switch the camera and try to break it this way. In my hand, with my knives, get them all positioned up here. And then, there we go. See the bearings in my hand? Some of the BBs are, the ball bearings are falling out. You can see, it's got only three in there still. Ta-da! I broke that part. And now you guys hear the tanks. That's how you can tell these aren't ceramic. Ceramic doesn't tank like metal. These are all metal. You can tell by that. I'm going to try to do that with this one as well. Same way. Just get the knife back here. And carefully. Very carefully. There we go. That one actually broke free easier than the other one did. These, the balls from this actually remind me of shotgun shells. Uh, BBs. Because that's what they look like to me. And, uh, right there is actually some of the, um, uh, guard from the bearings. Let's see. Right there's a bearing that I broke, the one of the two pieces. Put all the broken pieces over here, and all the little BBs from the ball bearings. But, it's so easy to break them into complete little pieces, because there's nothing holding it anymore. I'm going to keep trying to get all of the ball bearings broken fully. So I'm going to switch the camera. And keep doing it to all of these. This one's going to probably be harder. Because I can't tell, I don't know if you guys can see, but some of the plastic is still on there. If I have to, I'll heat this one back up to melt the plastic away. Yeah, this one I'm going to heat back up some more. Uh, I'm going to first try to do it to this one as well. This has some plastic in it too. But, it's pretty damaged up too. We're just going to see what all, how easy these are to completely destroy. Um, I'm not 100% sure where Ethan did get this fidget spinner from. Because this is Ethan's uh, old fidget spinner that he gave me to burn for him. Because it broke. So, I'm going to keep trying. These aren't ceramic. Um, I can tell by the how they sound. When you look at it, it's got metal. These are all metal. Anthony. These aren't uh, ceramic. These are completely metal. Because uh, ceramic doesn't shine. It's a cement. Ceramic is cement. These are metal. And the reason why they're so hard, like I said earlier, to get red hot is... Because they're meant to go fast uh, without breaking. Best way to do that is make them sturdy and out of a stronger steel or metal. 
I'm not sure exactly what metal they did use to make these ones, but you can tell they're metal by the look and feeling of them. I can't tell if there actually is another bearing under here, but this should be all good to go here. So let's try to break this one apart too. Yep, and you got a uh, scene, a ring there, John. Uh, chance, I'm gonna switch the spinner. Thank you, uh, Chanel, for removing that comment. Just trying to break this one apart. No, Anthony, what I'm saying is even the balls on this one are metal. I mean, they might be. I'm not sure. They seem to be metal to me. They don't seem like ceramic. Um, Ethan dropped it, apparently, at home one day. And it's a cheap fidget spinner, I'm assuming. Because he dropped it, and when he dropped it, it broke it apart. It broke a piece of it. And then I just got messing with it to break it more. And then I torched it. Um, fidget spinners are meant for children with ADHD and ADD. Uh, I actually, believe it or not, do have ADHD and ADD. And they're meant to help kids pay attention. Because you want to concentrate on the thing itself. I'm doing good. Thanks for action, Penny. Um, but it's, it was made to help kids pay attention better. And that one's broken now. Yeah, they were they're were made to help concentrate because um what kids want to do is do the biggest and the best tricks and other stuff. Um Hey John. Hey. I don't know, you're asking the wrong person. I don't believe so because I've been out here for the past 30 minutes doing a live stream, so Nope, he's coming right now. Nope, John's here. Are you picking up Marcus? Yep. Uh. No, I was gonna. What the fuck are you doing? A live stream. Oh, did I just curse in it? Yeah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> um. The fidget spinner was broken, so it's not really too much of an issue. Hey, Caleb. Uh, yeah, we are monkeys, Caleb. And shouldn't you be working, Caleb, rather than, you know, sitting on my live stream? Get to work. Hey, Mom. Tell me how... Mom. What? I'm my feet. Tell me how Caleb is literally watching my live stream right now while he's working. <laughs> no, I told him to get to work. Shouldn't, shouldn't you be cutting some people's cable, Caleb? Go back out to Twig Street and cut some cable. Right there is the uh, torch fidget spinner. But, uh, all the bearings are out. Everything is completely toasted. <sighs> but, there they're very, it was a very cheap one. Thanks.
Alright, you guys, since the fidget spinner is completely done for, I'm going to end this stream right here. Thank you guys for coming by. I love you guys. Mom said she loves you guys. Love you. Bye.